And that'll be recording there. Well, things that are inter and esting. So over here in uh, in Tacoma, the uh, the police fellers, well, they took their driving vehicle and slammed it into some folks driving. Now, according to an interview from um, an individual that was uh, at the event where they ran them over, it was actually something that I kind of remember from Washington State where they get together and pretend they're fast and furious, you know, mm-hmm. but I, and the guy said things are, you know, safety, safety, safety. And it, it might be different from what it was back in back in my day. They weren't so safety, safety, safety. Right. Like I remember in um in Renton, actually, like right outside a warehouse I worked in when I was uh, 19, a uh, a cat doing some motorcycle fucking around and one of those things uh, died on his motorcycle doing yeah. a, a super long wheelie and uh, and it fucked up. And uh, but yeah, so he's talking that it's a seven minute interview clip. It's on this uh, website called MyNorthwest.com, and it's a uh, witness to Tacoma police officer driving through crowd speaks out. And that person said that from them just being there and actually like, you know, not on camera, very close to it. They were like, no one was hitting the damn hood of the vehicle, any of that shit. No one was hitting the vehicle. And then also everyone was in front of the vehicle no one was behind it but the uh the pig decided to drive forward Mm -hmm. is what is what is gathered from that seven minute interview clip that you can get on uh, mynorthwest.com and then uh there's a little update uh from the folks over here at king five news which if i remember right that's where i saw i would watch steve pool the uh ew spit flying out of my mouth while i'm speaking i'm gross oh. <laughs> uh fucking steve pool the uh the negro weather man with his fucking perfect um reasonable business afro ah yeah that reasonable black man business afro mm-hmm. is he a democrat is he a republican is he 35 is he 55 who fucking knows he's a reasonable black businessman i like watching he steve the pool. description yeah, of little, yeah, <laughs> of all Negroes. Yeah, because you know what? You fucking you throw a hooded sweatshirt on that same face. Yeah, and nigga, you are danger. Mm-hmm. All right, so the Tacoma Police Union exists. Well, good evening. The Police Association, the Police Union, speaking out about what happened here at Ninth and Pacific. From the video that is disturbing, you can see the police officer's vehicle swarmed by a crowd. He hits the gas and hits two people while trying to get away. By now you've seen this video that quickly went viral. Four days after this incident, the Tacoma Police Union is speaking out on behalf of the officer. In a written statement, they call the response from many public leaders unwarranted and premature, saying, quote, stop sacrificing dedicated public servants at the altar of mob rule for political expediency. In the one-page statement, they defended the officer, who they say is a 30-year veteran of the force Ooh. with a stellar record. An incident that sparked oh, that was slick. And protests okay. in Tacoma. What'd you see? In that thing that they highlighted, they didn't say it in this, but <clears throat> like the text that's highlighted, they're going to play um, identity politics because he's South Asian. Ah. Nah, fuck that nigga too. <laughs> no, nah, he's yeah. not South Asian anymore. He's blue now. Nigga. Yeah, blue <laughs> like, life. Fuck that. <laughs> and these blue lives are uniquely American. Tavon Williams, one of the two people hit by that police cruiser. I don't know what was he thinking <clears throat> at that point in time, but he wasn't being an officer, you know? Um, he got frustrated and wasn't thinking. City leaders were also quick to speak We out. all know what he was Tacoma thinking. thinking. Mayor you know, I was actually worried that the town was headed in that direction. You notice that young brother had them gold teeth. Yeah, I saw that. That ain't no damn Tacoma shit. Mm-hmm. That's that new shit that happened. Like, I, I should have never left. I'd have helped regulate that. Fuck that. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck happened. All these niggas suddenly wanted to be the Bay Area and be hyphy. Nigga, we ain't the Bay. We're from Commencement Bay. It's cold. Nigga, we are not California. Stop it. Victoria Wooders on Sunday. We will hold the city manager and the chief responsible, but we as a city will. The fucking mayor of the town I'm from 
appears to have the same cookie cutter family dollar ass black art on the wall that I have. You know what? It may, we, Fiends and I were looking at this, so we were like, well, maybe it's not family dollar. Maybe it's that it's the shit that our cookie cutter shit is based off. Mm -hmm. But I noticed the sign that says faith on the next wall next to it. Mm -hmm. Why? Why, why is the mayor in our store? Get out of poor people's stores. Because she is of the people. No. And it is also one of, like, when you like, you light skinned black? This is a light skinned Negro lady, huh? I think so. Yeah. All right. I, I get it. Like, so, sometimes light skinned niggas got to put it down extra hard, get some respect. <laughs> yeah, you got to put that picture up. Right, you gotta fucking join a 501c3. You, you gotta three. stomp through fucking DC in the mud with chronic pain. You do when it's like 102 degrees out. Yes, you do. Yeah. 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 Why you think DJ Quick went so hard? Why you think Mac 10 went so fucking hard? Mac 10 used to get tickets on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga. <laughs> and sometimes you have to post a picture on Facebook of your hair. Yeah. Go go back in time. Look at rap. Ludacris was different, wasn't he? Yeah. He came out swing. He was like, I gotta go for hits. I wanna lick, 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 lick. Nobody was putting in all that effort. That's that, that's that light skin shit. Dark skin niggas have unfair melanin swagger, and it ain't it ain't right. <laughs> now wait, we're gonna be accused of perpetuating uh dark skin privilege. Yeah. <laughs> Like, I know I've experienced an unearned advantage. <laughs> I show up a little, little extra serious. It seems like racism is even harder on the hold on. Hold on, folks. I'll speak on it. <laughs> right? My hands don't match on either side. Yes. Yeah. Two tone Negroes. Two -tone All right. Two tone Negroes. We'll get through this. Yeah, that was some kind of tangent. What was that? <laughs> Man, I don't know. And I know it sounds cliche. We'll get through it together. Wednesday, four days after the incident, the Tacoma Police Union calling for the public to hold off judgment. A feeling that some viewers have reiterated. Quote, that officer, I'm sure, did not want to drive through that crowd, but feared for his own safety and life, said viewer Lisa. In Why? Was King someone Bond. shooting he at him? Forward. Yeah. They were... No, they weren't. They super Did weren't. Someone have like a baseball bat and they were like breaking the car. Yeah, and they then were I smashing mean smashing windows to get to him. You see the comments like he pulled forward to protect himself. Now, again, from the person that was on that mynorthwest.com interview, they said that behind the car was clear. Mm -hmm. Now, if the pig doesn't know how to use their side view mirrors mm -hmm. or their rear view mirror, or mm -hmm. or also you're a pig in a cop car. Shut it off and just sit there. Even if you are hitting the shit, like all of a sudden we like when it's a pig, we forget that vehicles are vehicles, mm -hmm. right? Vehicles are fucking huge and powerful. You can't just punch a car open. Yeah, well, see, now my thing, though. So if he, if he was scared for his life, so then clearly he's on record while this is happening. Um, you know, calling back into dispatch, calling back into his precinct saying, I'm in trouble. I might die. Someone come help me. Right. Like that calls there somewhere. Right. Yeah. Because he's in danger for his life. That's what the person on the um, interview suggested in that seven minute interview clip on mynorthwest.com. They said the same thing you're saying. And then I'm also saying to you out there tuned in because this, this is going to go on the free feed. Um, this is not a Patreon episode. Uh, fucking imagine you're a cop i know right if you tune into a program like this you're like nigga don't make me think of no shit like that motherfucker but um imagine you're a cop would you ever fear for your life no or would you walk around like i will clap any of y'all niggas that talk talk some shit Talk some shit. I dare you. Right, especially if you're a cop now. All the videos that have made the rounds since, I mean, let's put a round number on it, decade. Yeah. Someone that was 15 years old and made their first 4chan account then 
and saw all those videos, saw the Daniel Holtzclaw clay, saw everything that you can do. Holtzclaw, mm -hmm. let me pronounce things all the way, yeah. <laughs> saw everything you can do and be praised for it. One mm -hmm. decade later, they're 25 and they're a cop. Do you seriously think that that fuck stick at oh. any point fears? Well, this guy in particular, the one that uh, ran over the protesters, yeah. he's a 30 year veteran. He's been doing this shit. You think about think about 30. You, do people know what the fuck 30 years is? That's almost the 80s. 30 years ago, 1991. And it's only January. You can call it 1990 legitimately still. Yeah, 30 years ago is almost the 80s. Like, like hetero masculine so, men were still wearing pink t-shirts and riding skateboards. So that's actually fun when you put it in more context then. So he was a cop when Rodney King happened. That was the year. Yeah. Okay. That was his know. first year. But he was scared <laughs> for his life in he, 2021. He literally got hired and that was part of his training. Video. Nigga feared for their life. No, like, like, I just think about like, just being a young nigga, you know, obviously I wasn't a cop. I'm not, a, I wouldn't be a pig, yeah. but like you have some sort of local authority, notoriety in the hood based on who you're affiliated with and whatnot. And when I was like 15, 16, I walked chest out, mm -hmm. arrogant up. Y'all niggas can't see me. You can't see me by myself. I got my homies with me. I got my big homies. You can't see me. These are cops. Mm -hmm. Like, you want to see them by themselves? They have multiple straps. They have a beat you down stick, a beat you down flashlight, yeah. the fucking taser. Yep. And then they don't just have the homies. They have their own private network with their walkie talkies to contact the homies. Yep. Shit. Feared for their life. Are you shitting me? I think you are. WineCellarMedia.com, folks. Um, this shit's going on the free feed. A lot more shit is on that uh, Patreon.com slash WineCellarMedia feed starting at the first um, tier at $1 and going up to the $10 tier. Um, I am, um, I'm not thinking about, I'm going to, but I need to detail it for myself first, make more tiers up leading up to what I actually am going to go ahead and call activist tier. Cause I want people at that tier, come in, meet with us, talk, be like, Hey, I want, whoop, 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 can you help with this boost this thing specifically? Mm -hmm. And that one, I might just like dead serious, make it like 50. Yeah. All right. Wine cellar media folks. Fuck with it. Check it out. It's damn near 10 years old. And Scooby-Doo.